I was like, please don't let this be the lady. I go to open my door. She goes, are you Pat? It's you get you sent the letter. I taped it. My mom when i was you didn't tell me you actually sent the letter but i was hopped Wait, up well, on pain that, pills yeah. my mom like she's like go tape it up there they're being loud she made you do it i had to walk up there high You're on pain, pain pills and put it on my mom was like getting it oh, ready for me you didn't me. tell us you did it why oh. your mother your bitch mother <laughs> she has a crippled son her crippled <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome to Out and About. It's Friday, February 8th. I think it's February 8th. We have some major news for the show coming off the top. We saw your comments. We listened to you. We are no longer releasing the show on Wednesday. We are bumping it up to Tuesday. Space things out a little better. New release schedule is Tuesday, Friday instead of Wednesday, Friday. It is Friday today, though, which means this episode is out, which means are you going cray-cray on the weekend? Or no, I have a question. Who was complaining about this? Huh? Who was complaining about oh, this? Dan. Thank you, Dan. How many? The Wizard of Coming Man Mafia was, was being little fucking cunts. Yep. Little prissy every, cunts. Every one of them, they were all mad. What were they mad about? That they were, there was too many, too much drama, too much drama, too much Dr made of drama? <laughs> the, Clashed into too, too few of a time frame. They did space on the drama. No, I don't think, there was some comments about it, but um, we realized that we can like turn the show around in a day and it's better to space it out. We talked to the people upstairs and they're like, yeah, it's better to have it a little more spaced out. So that's what we're gonna do. Give them an early week dose. What's it called? Dopamine dose of Nana a and Trish. A tea Tuesday and a- There we go. Fuck your stepdad Friday. Fuck your stepdad Friday, tea Tuesday. Are you guys- If Phyllis remarried, would you jerk off your stepdad? Step Who was the, who's the stepdad? You have, to give, you have to give me an option. It's- um. No, she's marrying Burt, the guy. Burt, Burt I'm Reynolds. not gonna. I'm not gonna cheat. It's Burt Reynolds. I'm sorry. The late Burt Reynolds. Pardon. Got it. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. Burt Reynolds is dead. I'm not gonna jerk off my mom's husband. Suck him all? No. You're no fun anymore. I mean, at least not in a dark. It'd have to be in a dark room. Oh, he died in 2018. Oh, she passed in Jupiter, in 2018, Florida. Six years ago. Jupiter. Six years ago. Yeah. Goddamn. It's 2024, um, baby. Okay. So now we live. We work at different days now. We work the same days, but the show comes out a day earlier. But no Tuesday, one's, none, Tuesday, no one's Friday. on the wiser. No one's on the riser. What's that mean? None the wiser. None the wiser. I don't know if that fits here. None the wiser. Maybe. Maybe not. Diego's still fucking gone. He's still on vacation. You know, that's the only reason I come into work. It's like- To see Sweet D? My sweet, sweet well, Diego. I, I'm just, I wish you'd be a little more respectful of Vinny. That's all I'm saying, because Vinny's sitting here. And, it's okay. I, you know. I've accepted. I've accepted him second Vinny fiddle. Vinny isn't as obedient. <laughs> I'm, second, I'm second fiddle to Joey. I'm second fiddle to the Man Mafia. I'm just second fiddle. I've just accepted that that's where that's mm -hmm. my place is. Well, you can be. You know how to make yourself first fiddle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very simple equation. You start answering those, those emails back from those strange men. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Remember when you almost did that? I should have. I, I brought Why that didn't up. you? I brought that, that up to someone. He emails me every few months. It's that fucking controlling girlfriend. That's the issue. She doesn't want she him out there. She was all for it. She now, you just came it. back from Puerto Vallarta. How was that? <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> to the, the gay nude beach in TV that he's down <laughs> Puerto there. Puerto Rico. Now, you had to go there um, for legal reasons, correct? Yes. I had a, uh, they sent me back. It was good. I had a great time. I love it there. I want to live there one day. Do you really? Mm -hmm. You're like Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake. They live in Dorado, which is like a little west of San Juan, which is where I was. Why, what's, the, what's the allure of, 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 of like TikTokers and producers going to... I think it, I think it's more that it's a because you feel more validated saving. there because you're white. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, I found out from a local that they don't they don't like that the Jake Pauls of the world because everything is a public beach, but all the rich people like the rich white Americans are coming in and like gating off the beach. So there's groups. I love that. There's groups of people who just find out this rich person gated off their beach. Let's go fuck their gate up, and they just like march down there and like, fucking ruin their. Jake like, Paul sends me his, his 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 beverages every. Week, not kidding. My 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 room my my room is stocked about this high every week. I get a new a new a new case every single week but of a different drink, flavor. You don't drink it because no, I bring it to the kid. I give it to the kids. Oh, the should. kids love it. <laughs> that's what it's for, right? That's who it's marketed towards. <laughs> that's who it's marketed. Yeah, so that's so I'm kind of I'm, I'm sort of friends with him and his 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 brand, but um, I don't know anything else about him. But Puerto Rico. It's all ta it's all tax reasons, I think. It's all tax. It's a tax haven. You don't get fa any federal tax. You go there for them fat asses, though. I go for the fat asses. <laughs> yes. No I never and the mofongo. And the mofongo. Yeah. <laughs> and the mofongo. <laughs> of course. Nice. Nice. I never. I never been. You should. It's great. I don't know if I've been. What are the What are the names of like the big cities there? Because I, I know San I've been like San Juan's the main San one San where the San airport Juan? is. No, I didn't go there. But um, let me look. 
And it's, after that, it's just like you're just trying to go in there to get away. Like there's not like cities outside of like. Can you get your hair braided on the beach there? Probably. You can, you can yeah. get a box braid if you need one. No, there's a box braid. Uh, what, what I like about San Juan, braid. it's not like a big tourist trap. Like San I, like, Juan is not. Like I don't. I feel like most Caribbean islands I go to, they're I'm being preyed upon by all the locals trying to get the money out of me. I feel like I can live amongst the San locals Juan. in San Juan. Oh, we have San Juan, we have Ponce, we have Ponce, Mayaguez, yeah. Carolina, Guyanaba, Gui- which, which is where you, which is where your family hails from. I, I'm from Gabagool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Bayamon. Should we do out? Should we do a live show in? Puerto Rico? Oh, I'm in. You He's, don't need passports to get there. You don't we need passports. Remember when Trump was throwing out the paper towels? Yes. At the press conference? See? Si. Puerto Rico? It's a red state haven. Good for Nana. Um, so I know I'm wearing someone else's pants today. Yeah, it's wild. That's, I'm, oh, they're probably Youngstown Bobs. The, did you have so much clothes in my house? Bob? Yes. That's weird. And last time he was over, he, he never took his other shit he was saying he left there. Why does he leave shit at your house? Because we get change we change outfits and stuff <laughs> in the middle of the <laughs> we just get changed together. You're yeah. like sisters sharing clothes, you and Bob. Yeah. You're built the same. You yeah. and Bob have the you and Bob have the same bottom half, probably the same dimensions. Uh not for long because um coach got me going a little nuts. I went hard yesterday. At the gym. It was it was chest day. You it's, got a pump. It was a pull day. Oh, it was a pull day. Got it. You do push pull legs core. Well, no, we do push pull legs and then we do core every other my cardio you know I, well, co- well, you can't see now because i have a pump cover on right. but um <laughs> he knows he knows the lingo but feel it's already god damn joe but feel up here that's the good part joey's a guy who like if he worked out would I be do work out. Out. he would be jacked. fucking i can see that like jack no it's happening i already see a big difference and i've I'm only sure. went to coach three days coach my coach three days. Actually, you know three sessions with my coach but i've been going for like two weeks you've been going for two weeks um, my coach is actually a. He was on the. He was a Miami Dolphin, and he was. Um, and he played at a big college. He was. He was a quarterback of a major college back Shout in the day. Shout his ass out. What's his name? I don't want to say who it is. Cause I don't. Want, I, I think he's in private. But yeah, all right. Um, yeah. So you want uh, the free publicity? But. It's not. For, I'm paying him. I'm getting no free oh, publicity. Really? So you're going in. Good for you. Do you feel better uh, mentally? Yeah, not mentally yet. But that'll come. Well, I'm going through some problems at home, so. Okay, here we go. Well, you got a haircut. You look good. Look good, feel good. My sister got a facial this week. What kind was it? Tell me. There's a load on your face? No, sicko. It was from Rescue Spa in Soho. It's um. It was a deep. I did. A, I did a um deep deep pour, and I did a um, I did a like a hydrogen, kind of infusion. Did like a few different treatments, but look at my skin. She's sitting. Dude, your. No makeup, no foundation. Uh, your lips are. My lips. I have two herpes sores on my lips because my body. <laughs> you don't even. But the thing is, you don't even notice them because the lips are so big. Well, you notice them because the thing. I was a reaction because when I bought one of my when people have that have um, herpes simplex whatever, it's like your body. Yeah. Gets, going through trauma or Stress. stressful situations, it comes out. So now I have one here and one here, and um. So that's why they look so bee stung. So it's not. I didn't have a. I didn't get herpes from the needle. The fucking needle. From the, the dirty needle. needle the dirty needle that they use. It was um, a reaction to my body. So once those settle down, my lips will go back to normal. Oh, um, co- speaking of cosmetology, your girl Anna Amanda Bynes failed her test. Yeah, unfortunately, so that's the fourth sad. time. The fourth time, mm. she had the grades up. She posted on. She goes, "I'll study harder next time." Safety and infection control, seventy four percent. Client consultation, one hundred percent. That's what that's. She's, she's been personal her whole life. She always has been. Uh, nail uh, now, nail analysis is where things start to slip. The wheels kind of ah. came off in nail analysis. <laughs> what was her percentage? <laughs> yeah. Now she's down. She's down to sixty nine percent. Oh, nail no, analysis. Uh, excuse me, sixty seven percent nail analysis. Now she can't. Now she can't. So she can't um, identify a hang now. Now she was. She was able to bump the score up to a sixty nine when she when she actually did the treatment. So she finished at a seventy one. Yeah, I think you need at least a ninety to like. Is that true? I don't know how much you need. I don't, I don't know what percentages you need. I, I got I got ninety eight on everything. You did? Give yeah. me a nail analysis. No, not my nail. My whole cosmetology exam. What even is a nail analysis? Nail Just analysis. How, how fucking gross they're looking? Fix this, fix that. No, it could be analysis of what's wrong with their nails. It could be pitting that's showing something <laughs> else. You know, it could be. Of course. It could be. You know. A, it could be an infected cuticle. How did it you? Be, <laughs> how, did she, how did she fail it for the fourth time? 
Um, in my it's opinion, stressful. I'm sure it's a opinion, stressful I process. I think she's her eyes on the prize more, and she's so excited just to do the nails and, yes. and do, her, do her artistic abilities that she likes doing and making them look great. She's great at client consultations. She's great at people being great with people. Well, she scored 100. percent Yeah. So I think I think she's so, so excited about the prize. She's she doesn't want to put the work in. And as a child actor, she probably was used to having yes people around her her whole life. And oh. this, and then the state board is not one of those people. <laughs> unfortunately, state, unfortunately, the state board is not to be trifled with. Do you know what I mean? So I think that yeah. she is like you know she's not <laughs> putting in the work she needs to do. I think she needs to calm down, just take do just really study, t focus on the test, and put all her focuses on the test on the, the exam. process. And then once you have the once you have your license, it's all about just you know uh, keeping it up, making sure you know you don't. You gotta stay up with the latest trends. You gotta figure. You got the latest. The latest a powder trend. dip. <laughs> you might have a powder dip. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll be booking the first appointment. Oh, a hot. I don't understand. Is she just gonna work at like a strip mall? No, I think she's probably mail? gonna open up her own nail salon. She's gonna. But if you open your own, can't you just open it and just hire people? Like I think she's she, gonna work there, but you should, no, you open your own. She's gonna work there, and she'll have other people to do there too. Uh, right. <laughs> I just go to a random nail salon and like Amanda um, Bynes. Well, that's what I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of Asian ladies like at a strip mall, and like Amanda Bynes is in there she doing might, nails. I mean, she might. I mean, if she wants to get like you know experience, you know, but once you have your license, you can open. You know, you're you're able to open on your store, you open your own salon. Well, they have always said the sky really is the limit once you get your cosmetology license. It is. It's you know, it's one of the uh, when I got my cosmetology license. Um, it is one of the um, only, okay, let me get this right. I don't want to misquote. Of course. <laughs> it's one of the um, only three professions that you're legally allowed to touch another person. The police, medical staff, and beauty petitions. <laughs> the three? We call Dentists, those... but doctors, that's all. Any medical uh, yeah. is one. F um, um, fire, you know, uh, police, fire, and yeah, yeah. an Law ambulatory. Yeah. yeah that and um and yeah and, and, those, and, and, and hairdressing and the big three so cosmetology those are the three pillars of democracy <laughs> they are they, they so now I, I hold our a country was built on those three i hold a very uh, important <laughs> no, I hold a very very important degree <sighs> The OCA did shut her down. DCA? <laughs> shut, what did it say? Board of uh, Barbering and Cosmetology. Uh, you know what? You should, I have a, do you want to call the number right I now? Wish I, I wish I could find the picture of me on, my, on, my, on the day I took my state exam. How did you celebrate after? What were you wearing? We went out. I remember we went oh, out. Oh, you probably went nuts. We went to Friday. No, we went to Hula Hands, I think. Oh, um, and we all, we all, we had the waitress come over with the cake, and we all said she passed the state exam. <laughs> and you're going, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I had tips on so I couldn't do that. You get, was you had the long swoop at this time? Yes, I had blonde yeah, okay, hair. Yeah. I was oh, probably, probably at the back with a, with a blue platinum? bang, a blue bang. Oh, you went blue. I wish I could find the state, and I had a lab. I had my lab coat on. <laughs> I had to wear white. I had to wear all white. You had a, you had a coning ceremony. You came out. And put, you put a white coat on. <laughs> I'm gonna call the board right now just to kind of see what they have to say. If you don't mind, nine one six five seven four. Seven five seven zero. Seven five seven two. No zero. Seven five seven zero. You can see that far. And it's on my computer. What is it again? Nine one six. Nine one six five seven four seven five seven zero. Seven five seven zero. I'd just like to get some information on a student. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Department of Consumer Affairs. Our consumer information center. Oh, I'm not sitting through that. Anyway, your um, nemesis, who's also a cosmetology queen, is finally going down. JVN, our boy. I tried to warn you. There, there was, it was, it was all, they, they hired the wrong queen. If you don't know, I auditioned for that role of... Um, you would have fucking crushed. Of... Um, the hairdresser. The hairdresser on, on for Queer, queer Eye. Eye for yeah. the straight guy. And I didn't get it. They took they took JV, JVN over me, and now they're paying the price for it. Oh, my God. Can you believe a a uh, a bathhouse Tina queen has a rage problem? Who would have fucking thought? Apparently, so all these people are coming out of the woodwork. The show is, like, going off the rails. Bobby Burke left. And did, did Bobby Burke I leave? like him, Bobby Burke. Well, he's the only one that did anything on that show. He's the normal. He's, like, the home decor. I actually really like he's him. The only, he, he turned around a fucking full house in, in, in 25 yeah. hours. And everyone else fucking and Anthony's what did he fucking cut up on a fucking avocado? Yep. And, and and lisp around the fucking around the fucking <laughs> set. Like what the fuck did he do? Oh, Tan France actually is, is nice I like, too. I like Tan. I everyone like everyone else. Go fuck off. I can't stand Karamo. I can't stand Anthony, and I can't stand that JVN. fucking JVN. 
But I, I just JVN. Well, man, I, I go on the record. But he's been a nightmare for many years. He used to. Now I'm not going to name who, but I I used to work with someone. With someone well, I used to be represented with by someone who was represented by the same person oh, by him as well. And he was a fucking nightmare then. Well, let me. Well, this is so. This is what happened. So the show Bobby Burke, who we like, the interior home guy, he left the show because it was too much. He's launching. He has already has his own successful interior design business. Whatever. And why would you want to taint your name with those disgusting fucking? <laughs> okay. He leaves. The wheels start to come off. The show comes to a screeching halt. Karamo's show goes off the air. Oh, that was – Oh, God forbid. That fucking show. JVN's um, – and long story short – let me set this up again. Long story short of it all is that it's coming out that JVN was a fucking nightmare, which goes in complete contrast to this happy-go-lucky, super pleasant guy to be around, similar to Ellen. He's the gay Ellen. So no, they said that – isn't Ellen the gay Ellen? Person, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Personality wise, so it came out that basically every day he would pick someone to like have like a rage fit at, and like the it was so toxic on set. None of these guys actually liked like hanging out with each other. It was you go in, you work, you go out, and it was just the entire thing was a ruse. But I guess he would like scream at production assistants, like to the point where network executives. Had He's to, a nobody. Had to have th- had He's to have a nobody three that meetings. stepped in shit. They had to have three meetings with him about his behavior. Three meetings. Like imagine if Dave and Erica like called you into their office or me or anyone and been like, "Hey, I want to talk to you about your behavior." Three fucking times. Rico. That, yeah, that's <laughs> well. You can't say this. Rico's different. No, the, the, no this place. This place honors that type of behavior. So it's not. That's not that. And this is a not joke. This is like people who are fucking like bottom of the ladder are getting targeted by this fucking guy. He's the bottom of the ladder. He, well, the, fuck him. That's the other thing. They. Thought, I can't stand any of those fucking. They would always be. Uh, who gets the most airtime? Who does this? Who does that? They're all jealous of each other. But the entire thing is just unraveling to the point where. I mean, I'm not surprised. Anyone who's that, like, overly nice is never that way. And always, what goes around comes around. If you're a piece of shit to people behind the scenes, if you're a scumbag, it al- I found that it always fucking comes out. It's yep. happened with people fucking here who I didn't like. It came out they were a piece of shit. It's happened at other jobs I've had. It's happened personally. And that's what's happening to this motherfucker. He's a scumbag, and it's coming out. That's why I keep it 100% real. When I have a fucking fit or hate someone, I, I just say it right out. I don't, I don't hold shit back. Talk about it. I'm a nice person, but you yep. know, don't cross Nana at, mm. at, at, at a cosmetology conference. The don't cross <laughs> Nana tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you know, uh, yeah, you no, tell you people, do. Like, I like you know, I when I, 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 I have fucking outbursts all the time. Yeah, I but I think the diff. Obviously, the difference now is she like, will show her true colors, <laughs> and it's and, and it's, it's beige bisque. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is like. Get them you're, off the screen. I don't want to throw up today. Get them off the screen. Thank you. Karamo big time does to come on this show. Okay. What are you talking about? I told we said no to him. I thought we said yes. I said fucking no. You really? Mean, I hate him. Oh, I thought it would have been a good thing for. for <laughs> well, you thought he didn't want us. Now I do want to. Now I do want to say this. If any of these gentlemen would like to come on the show, you are more than welcome. No, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't come in. You'd, you'd just be boycott. Well, I hope they wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't perform. Can well, you why? imagine a fucking I rough and motherfucker? Do you know oh. that? Do you know that, that, that Patty Lapone quote? What, say it again. She she said, "Well, what would you do if Trump comes tonight?" She goes, oh, yes. well, I, "Well, I hope he doesn't because I won't. I won't perform." And she goes, <laughs> "Can you tell us why?" He says, "Yes, because I hate the motherfucker." <laughs> That's you with JVN. Imagine a Joey JVN, uh, rough and rowdy. Rough and rowdy. Honey, I ain't get. <laughs> I ain't get. I ain't get fucking cut. You're Go. working out. You would fuck him up. Imagine just a few more weeks of working out. No, he's saying he would fuck him up, but he doesn't oh. want to get cut. I'm not saying that. What? What? Who would win the rough and rowdy? You versus JVN? I wouldn't give him the. I wouldn't give him the the, the benefit of, of using my name and likeness to fucking to better better his career. I wouldn't go in the fucking same room as him. Do you, I wonder if anyone's gonna want to work with him after this. Like he's not like Ellen is too big to fail. JVN is not too big to fail, and he sucks at hair. On top of it, he does. Why does JVN suck at hair? Because he just sucks. You you don't like his personality. Are you guys the same? Are you are Joey and JVN the same person? Did, did you actually try to be on the show? Is that like a joke? I was. I was. I got the second round of auditions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, like we and said. And you know what they said? What they said that they hired. They they said. Well, they said uh, I was job. Is... They wanted. They wanted. Un, they wanted people with. Uh, they wanted unknown talent. And I was. I had too many. Too many like on screen things beforehand. So they hired this fucking guy. Well, goes to show him. Virgin Mary full of weed, Hitler's balls, cocaine chickens, and a priest with a shotgun. What am I talking about? The gentleman. It's Guy Ritchie's first series ever. 
If you're a fan of movies like Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, then you're going to lose your shit over this Netflix show. It follows a new cast of low-down lords and ladies slumming in Britain's criminal underworld. Guns out and pinkies up. Watch what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. They don't miss The Gentleman, now playing only on Netflix. Oh, what else I want to talk to you about? If you guys remember last week, my neighbor, I like wrote the note on the show. About the one who was having a Zumba class upstairs? Yeah, the one who fucking does, pays, gets 10,000 steps in above me all day. It's been an absolute nightmare. What happened? I, I was walking home. I'm walking to my apartment. I see a lady like behind me in my periphery. I was like, oh my God. Please don't let you this. You thought it was JVN. I thought it was JVN. <laughs> I thought it was JVN coming after me with a Tina pipe and a, and a steam and towel. And a teasing and, comb. Yeah, and a teasing <laughs> comb. Um, I was like, please don't let this be the lady. I go to open my door. She goes, are you Pat? It's You get you sent the letter? I taped it. My fucking mom, when I was you hopped, didn't tell me you actually sent the letter. But I was hopped Wait, up well, on pain pills. That, yeah. My mom, like, she's like, go tape it up there. They're being loud. She made you do it. I had to walk up there high You're on pain, pain pills and put it on. My mom was like getting it oh, ready for me. You didn't me. tell us you did it. Why oh. your mother, your bitch mother? <laughs> she has a crippled son. Her crippled. <laughs> <laughs> Her crippled, gay, lisping son <laughs> hopped up on pain pills downstairs and she couldn't even walk up to one flight? Well, I was lighting the loafers, so I actually floated up the stairs. All right, so you taped it up. At you, had, you had Scott tape in your apartment? I had medical tape. That my I was going to say, I know that you, you didn't have tape in your apartment. My mom's like, we'll use the medical. She's like putting it out because she was pissed too. She concurred. It was she bad. heard it. Yes. Absolutely. I went up, I did Phyllis, it. Phyllis's South Side showed. Phyllis says, well, I was we know we were trying to get her to go to Cubby Hole. <laughs> she, would have, she would have burned that bitch down. She showed her South Side. She was in an all gray uh, sweatsuit, just walking around the house. Your mother? Yeah, she looked like a lesbian. I told her, I was like, this is bad. So you hobble up the stairs. I hobble up the stairs. One arm. I am this close to knocking, and I was like, no. So I just put it on the door, and I heard her right on the other <gasps> side of the door. <laughs> so, so I tried she to do it really it, quiet yeah. to be like, let me just put the thing on. I go downstairs. Fast forward three days. I'm walking in. Three days? The lady's behind me, right? I don't know it's her. I hear, are you Pat? Now, I'm hoping this whole time that the person above me is like someone – like I want it to be like this like gross, like goth chick, yeah. like someone who I can get behind hating. Yeah. It's the opposite. She is this probably late 50s, early 60s like lady. Like me. Just like – it was Nana the whole time. <laughs> Joey had his flop house down in the village. <laughs> She was so sweet. Her name is Stacy. She's like, I am so sorry. These floors are thin. She goes, now, I've been here 25 years in that apartment. She's probably been 300 bucks a month. She's like, the problem is there's no subfloor. She's like, when is it? I was like, to be honest with you, it's like any time you walk across your apartment. like, And I'm trying to tell her without telling her, like, sit the fuck down in one place and stop doing laps. I was like, anytime you walk across your apartment, it sounds crazy. She's like, I'm not wearing shoes. Like, I felt so is bad. She fat? No. She's like, I'm trying to walk in places that it doesn't creak now. She's like, I'm going to get new rug pads, is this it and creak that. The pro is it creaking the problem or is it stomping the problem? I think it's. I think she's stomping the house down. She's a lead foot. She's a lead foot. Maybe she, do you think she's doing a, like a step? You never see the- um, A step routine? No, a step routine. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the Irish colleges. step? Yeah. Oh, a st oh, like a like college step show, like a HBCU yeah, <laughs> step she, show. Do you think a she's black college? Do, 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 do. Yeah. Is she doing a step show? She could be, but she was so sweet. She we actually we actually talked for like twenty minutes, which was a lot because I was like sweating standing there. And then you offered her some of your pain pills. Yeah, I go speak. I go, <laughs> honey, you want any of these oxys? <laughs> I go, come on in here. That'll put her down for a few days. Yeah, I got, I put them in her drink. No, but she was so nice. And then I hadn't heard anything for like four days because she's. Probably scared. She's like terrified to walk. Good. That's what I want her to be terrified about, to walk. I, kind of, I might be on her side now. But now, last night, she was having a fucking Zumba. She was asking me, like, my working hours. And I, I'm i like, okay, she can't not walk in her apartment. Yeah. like She, she, she has to just, I was like, I just have to get. You should have to deal with it. It's so you bad. You have to get used Joey, to it. I, I have to get used to it. The thing is, Leah's kids, they had a downstairs neighbor. Leah's kid, when you have chill toddlers, and she Leah's gotten complaints from, like, th thousands of complaints from every, every other yeah. downstairs. Because the kids fucking brrrr. Yep. They run back and forth all day long, stopping. Light on your feet, soft feet, soft feet. We say soft feet. We, she would say that to the kids. We no, me and Leah say to the kids, soft oh, feet, yeah, yeah. soft feet. We car she carpeted the entire house, custom carpets, stunning carpets. Yeah, um, <laughs> carpeted the entire house. Got the most intensive pads. There's no yeah. shoe. We're not wearing shoes in the house. Maxie? She did everything she can do, and that's just fucking life. That's don't move to the suburbs if you can't handle it. I'm, I'm just, not talking to you. I'm just saying. No, but, you're, but I need to hear that because I haven't lived in a place where I've had noise in probably five years, and now I'm like just fucking shut up and can get I used say to something? it. Yes. 
Aren't you aren't you lonely now that you're by yourself? Anyway, doesn't it feel like like someone's there with you in a way? <laughs> you know what? Seriously, I'm not kidding. I want when I was looking at buildings. When I hear the neighbor, when I hear like the, I was yeah. in the back of the building, and I would never <laughs> hear noise. Now now like now it's Stacy upstairs again. Stays. No, but you know what I mean. Now like when I have so much like um busy, like living in a busy area, you know, yeah, the yeah. street, you hear the things. It's just it's kind of comforting in a way. It is kind of nice. But start, start trying to make it into white noise. Make it feel like you know sh she's there with you and like someone's there. You know, because you know, you're not going to have a man in your life for, for a while now. I need to do. I do need to get used to it. I think that's all it comes down to. But it was so bad, I almost called uh, Amanda Seabaum. I was like, November, I'm fucking out of here. Like, I can't do it. And then I was like, that is psychotic. Relax. Live here for I two mean, years. I mean, it's that leave. bad. It's not that bad. I think you're just. Uh, it's you know, it's probably not. I'm just like sensitive to like sounds. Like if I hear someone like fucking like scraping their fork, it just drives me nuts. Yeah, but this it's, is like a low like. It just like sounds bass. like it's not her fault. It's just the apartment. It's can you do me a favor? Twenty five years it? she's been there. Can you record the sound next time so I can hear and see if you're being yeah. dramatic? Yeah. No, because you're gonna think I'm being. You're no, gonna definitely yeah, call me I'm being dramatic. I'm gonna have to put headphones on. Do you hear it? Yeah, yeah, you have to fucking crank it up. No, I think you'd notice it. The thing is, when there's no sound, it's a fucking dream apartment. It's exactly what I like. Everything about it, I love. It's perfect. But when there's the noise, I want to fucking kill myself. And it's just walking. At least she's not listening to music or like banging yeah. or having people upstairs or or playing bachata music or something. Yeah, ethnic music. God forbid. No, I I like I wouldn't mind ethnic music. I would hate if it was um, Hindi. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> reggaeton. I hate reggaeton. What? Why? I love reggaeton. What? You like Bob Marley? That's not reggaeton. That's reggae. That's reggae. You, you reggaeton is like reggaeton. So, so, so you like reggae, but you do not like. I don't like reggae, but I, I, I'm not offended by reggae. Reggaeton is like the <laughs> but you're most offended by reggaeton. It's just a mixture. Of, it's not. It's just the worst music to me in the world. Is that Pitbull? No. Pitbull's reggaeton, right? Yeah, it's more like Latin. Like reggaeton is more like dance hall. Like, do you not like dance hall? I don't know that. I listen to Morgan Wallen. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he said it, I've been a fan. <laughs> Remember that his fucking ratings? Went I was up? I was a fan before. And fun fact, I was in the house. That house after he moved out, my, I I was I went to a party at the house that he ran into and said that that day. Is that with Caleb? He just sort of. Caleb's, no, he wasn't Caleb's like buddies with him. Yeah. With Morgan Wall. He's in this thing. He just started his own tequila. Caleb. Wait, Caleb did? Yeah. Oh, good. It's peanut butter tequila called Chica Cheetah, I think. I saw apparently that's like, a, that is a thing, and people say it's peanut surprisingly butter tequila. good. Peanut yeah, I've butter, never yeah. had it, but. You I've had, had peanut butter whiskey. I've, I've had peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. You, you, you've never had the tequila, though? Peanut butter tequila? No. Yeah. What do you even make for a cocktail with that? Like you just take a shot. I think it's just they're like their competitors are like Fireball and like Jägermeister. So it's yeah, probably shots, just like a, but I would also mix. If I, would, I would do a peanut butter and jelly margarita. I would do. Ooh, I would do that with like raspberry, ooh. like um, raspberry margarita made a with jam? peanut butters. Yeah. No, I would just do like you know one of the raspberries, the peanut butter tequila. The um, it's only sixty four proof, which yeah, is less just, than. It's probably very sweet. Yeah, it's probably very sweet. This is the brand. No, I'm just looking up. Let me see his brand. Chica Cheetah. I don't know what the business dealings are on that. How did that come about? Do we own that? Is that a Caleb thing? I say we like it's my company. Um, yeah, let's watch it. <laughs> you so know, funny. peanut butter is invented by black people. A black person. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, what? That is, I want to watch it. It's so good. This is directed by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. So unexpected. Oh, so unexpected. Go, can you go to drinkchikachita.com so I can see what this is about? Man, that was awesome. Are they going to sponsor the, our sponsor our live tour? Yeah, there we go. We finally we got it, finally got a sponsor. Finally, I mean, you know, uh, we won't get into it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Third we'll tour, see. third self self funded tour. Barcel doesn't want to give I'm us. I'm holding out. Barcel doesn't want to support. Barcel doesn't want to. You make it sponsor our tour. I'll make it. Uh, here we go. Chica Chita. Read it. It's peanut butter, but better. Say but because Chica makes my tonsils twerk and my brain bounce that ass. <laughs> this enhancing potion combines the energy of tequila, Mexico, with the flavor of everywhere, America. <laughs> I know because I'm on it right now. 
<laughs> my dream is to one day have kids who'll grow up twenty to be twenty one years old so they can sip chicken cheese themselves or eighteen if we live in Europe. I don't foresee. Caleb Caleb Press signed. Caleb Presley. Peanut butter, but I can see kids drinking this on spring break, ripping it up. I bet this slaps. I bet it's probably I bet it's so delicious. Good. Twenty five bucks. Are you, you know, seven? Slaps. Slaps. You know they're canceling spring break in Miami? Yeah, I saw. They're trying They need to, to cancel something else in Miami. What's that? The election? <laughs> what do they need to cancel? I don't know. They're uh they're trying to price Can you buy one out. for me? I'll give you my credit card. I want to try it. I'm sure you can just get one. From where? Caleb. <laughs> no, I'm not asking. It's my friend. I want to support his business. I would never ask something free for a friend. If they have a business, you always support their business. Holy Cabasta. I have a problem. What's that? I know what it is. I have a snoring problem. It's affecting my. It's you affecting have sleep my home apnea, life. brother. I know I have sleep apnea, but you I have need to, a I have, mask. I have to. No, I've never went back to um for the sleep study. I I missed my appointment. I have to go back, so I have to set back set it back up. Are you gonna get a CPAP? Whatever they need to suggest. Yeah. You're gonna sleep with a, a thing on. Well, does it stop the snoring? Yeah, but it like sh uh, my uncle had one and I tried it on. It like shoots air like so hard like down your like throat. If you open your mouth, you like choke. So then what's well isn't it benefit of, is it not beneficial to have it then? No, it's definitely beneficial. It's just like my snoring is affecting my home life. What's up? Someone's not sleeping. It's just loud, night. yeah. The neighbors? <laughs> no, my my friend. But it's like You should get that checked out. I've had it checked out. I know what it is, but like I don't want to do, do I just give you the mask. You gotta go through one more hoop to get the mask. Yeah, you're gonna have to sleep in a mask. Can you look up what a CPAP mask is? But now I think there's something you can do and they can there's a, and it can get something installed what about mouth in your head. Tape? What about mouth tape? Have you heard of mouth tape? Yeah, I saw that before. Maybe I'm, try, I'm gonna try a breathe right strip today. You put the mouth you put the mouth tape on and you have no hate written on it every night before every night before you go to bed. But then how this do, is what you gotta sleep with. But I sleep on my face. I can't sleep on my back then. We gotta make a graphic. Shove the, put this thing on Joey's face. Yeah, you gotta sleep on your back. S wait, smash the guy down the, the lower left. No, that's lower right. that's you. Bottom left is you, with the hair. That's your hair at that when you pass cosmetology that's, so this school. Is you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that, I need a more really. I can't have a hose on my face, dude. You're going to if you go there and they give it to you. That's what it is. I want to get one, but <coughs> see how it works. Shove your dick in it. You know we did a bracket yesterday of inanimate objects you'd like to fuck. Meek Phil is a freak. Oh my I always, God. I, always, I, cause, cause just, oh is no one gonna listen to me that I know and see everything? I foresee. I can see through bullshit. I, I can. I know when things are happening. I told you, Meek Phil isn't a. It's like a hot. Like That's lustful what guy, what? a hot lustful guy. It, it never, no one, everyone says, "Oh, you know what? Maybe he does have a fat ass." It's like you think. He's... I've been saying it for fucking five years. <laughs> Meek Phil is. It's all a game. It's it's, it's like the, it's like the Jessica Simpson effect. He's playing up this fucking nerdy like oh. Dude, I think Meek Phil is thing. Himself. He's actually a very personable, uh, 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 good looking, sexy guy. Go to uh, the Dude Bucket. This is what started it. The Dune Bucket. You know the movie Dune yeah, too. The Dune bucket. The Everyone wants bucket, to fuck yeah. the popcorn bucket. Well, you wouldn't. I mean, it's it'd be silly because the the the, the there's, there's, a, there's no there's no te there's no resistance there. That's what I was saying. John Rich is saying he would fuck this thing in a heartbeat. Because you can't fuck it though. There's nothing to. It's just it's gonna just tickle your dick. It's there's no there's no like <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> tickle your. Just that one layer. It's just that one layer of of the tentacles. Uh, of the tentacles. They have it here, right? What if you do it, fuck it with the popcorn? They right? have it here, right? Yeah. It's just one. You can't. Nothing's gonna happen, and there's, there's, they're, not, they're, they're not. You know what I mean? But you, you could your, your whole hand goes. No, in no, it. I hear you. Yeah, I you just, can't fuck that. You definitely. You'd have to like rub your dick around. The Unless edges. your dick is as big as the outside circumference of that circle. <laughs> you have a fucking cannon. No, you have that dick. That you have little, a two-liter soda cock. No, who had that the six-foot dick? John Sally. No, six-foot dick. Six foot. The whale, the humpback whale. Oh yeah, unless you're a hump, unless you're the gay humpback whale. Yeah, that was. It was like episode. six and a half feet. So what would you fuck? What would I, f if, 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 I think that wasn't a thing? He goes, bend over, son, I I'll show you. I would fuck probably a, maybe a spaghetti squash. Yeah. Spaghetti Seems squash. Seems kind of messy. Pumpkin was on there. Hot Pocket well, was on there. Spaghetti squash is better, though, because it has, you know, the, the, the longer cylindrical, longer cylindrical, tubular thing. Um, Hot Pocket. A hot po Apple mm. Pie was on there. Mm. Uh, no, I don't the Hot Pocket would fall apart. I don't, I don't even want to answers. spoil the best on that. Oh, McChicken was, oh, was this on out there? yet? Have you seen the McChicken video of the guy fucking the McChicken? No, but it doesn't seem like you'd want it's to do it. It's viral as fuck. 
Let me see it. Dude, the video is just on. you think it would be like a mashup McChicken. It's just his dick with two with buns on either side of it. And he's so there's no chicken or lettuce. It's or there, but like it. it looks like a dick sandwich. <laughs> he's fucking he's fucking that- the McChicken. This is it. <laughs> That's how he fucks it. He comes from this. The mayo was probably what made it. This is nice. I would assume. I know, I have to, I know I'm invested. I have to watch him. So not, we got another four minutes here, ladies. Buckle in. Four, we got some nice well, mayo. Well, that says a nice lot. Warm mayo that says cup. a lot about the quality of the bun, though, because that's not falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> and does the dick come with the sandwich? Because I would fuck that. Oh my lord, Vinny, why are you watching it again? Are we done? Vinny's making he us didn't watch finish it again. It. Yeah, I thought it, that's not the finishing the part. Video ended. Oh. No, I wouldn't fucking make chicken. I mean, I mean, what, what would you? What would you? What, Vinny, what would you fuck? It has to be food or it could be anything. Do you toss me that wig behind you? Does it have to be food or it could be anything? It could be anything. Oh, then I let me think Any, about that. It has to be an inanimate object. Maybe um Oh, maybe um God, I'm trying to think uh, what like, else um, was. That's some of the hardest I've laughed. I was fucking oh, maybe a puppet? dying. Maybe the hole of a puppet? Fuck like the hand hole of a puppet? Then you might as well just fuck a sock though if you're just gonna fuck okay. a puppet. What's yours, Vinny? We're waiting. Know. We're waiting. I never like like. Oh, a couch was on there. Have you ever stuck? Yeah, a but dick I, was about, a couch? I was about to say like I like I never did that as a kid. Pillow. Like, you would say they do that stuff. Like I never fresh did thing that. of laundry. Ooh. A fresh pile of laundry. You could fuck that. I kind of like that answer. If it's nice and warm. I do love warm laundry. Yeah, that would be nice. You put that fucking pecker on some warm laundry. I'm never there though when the ladies are folding it. How's that going? The ladies? Yeah. I had to have an emergency session this week. No, I thought you had an intervention with them. What intervention? About didn't something happen? They didn't show up or something? No, they didn't. They weren't available the day for my party. But they came that they came the next day to clean up everything, and they like went above and beyond. Um, yes, the Oscars are this weekend. Are they? Oh, yes, yeah. I'm having a. I I just got thrown into having a party. Oh, well, oh, yeah, I'm sure they twisted your arm to have such. No, a they party. did really. They invited themselves. Who? Um, Leah. So, uh, Leah's coming, but yeah, oh, fr- fun. some friends of mine that um from um. Italy, they're, they're from Italian. From Italy? Yeah. My friend Lorenzo um, and his wife Erin, they're coming. They um, What time are the Oscars? Remember when you said the o'clock. Emmys were bigger than the Oscars? No, I didn't say that. I said that the Grammys were not were the oh, last one. the Grammys one. were the last one. They are. Oscars leading role. Okay, nominees. Bradley Cooper. What's that say? I ordered the I ordered Maestro? This, I ordered this from Etsy. It's a page where all the all the characters are there. And you, you check out. You check which one. Like which a bingo? Uh, yeah, like you, beforehand, you turn in whoever gets the most right wins the... I've wins seen the, wins the um the extra tin of uh caviar cover caviar. Ooh, I've never seen any of these movies. Maestro, Rustin. The I saw the holdovers. I saw American Maestro. Fiction. I've seen. I've seen. What's best picture? Best picture is. Oh, I hate when they do the ones. that's like it's best, best fucking one. best makeup and hair sign. Do you know any of these ladies? Oh, here we go. Nominees: American Fiction. Never even heard of it. I can't even see. Can you zoom in? American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie. Oh, God forbid Barbie doesn't win. It's going to be fucking the sexist. Uh, the Holdovers, Killers of a Flower Moon was supposed to be awesome. Ma- Maestro, Oppenheimer. Have you seen Killers of a Flower Moon? No. Poor, poor things. Um, I don't know. I'm going to watch all. Are, they all. are these all available online? I know Oppenheimer is on Amazon Prime. I'm going to watch each one. I'm going to watch each of the one. I'm gonna, I already seen. Op- I already saw. Poor th- no, sorry. I saw Maestro. I saw the holdovers. Was that good? Which one? I, either of them. I haven't seen any. Uh, Maestro, yeah, it was. They're both good. Um, See, I don't even know. I'm that. gonna watch all the other ones so I can know what's going on. I'm like, I'm like kidding. I'm watching them. The zone of interest. Go up to hair and makeup, please. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh that's okay. There oh, she is. Do you know any of these ladies? Zoom in. The nominees are. Um, you know Luisa, Nadia. I don't, no, know, I don't know any of those people. I never worked in film, really. 
She's always been a theater queen. This episode is brought to you by Body Armor Zero Sugar, the brand new Zero Sugar sports drink from our friends at Body Armor for eyes. Real hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has you covered with great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. They're a huge partner bar stool, and we love Body Armor Zero Sugar. We have a whole case of them in the kitchen. We actually have a whole fridge full of them. Guys, this is gonna hydrate you, especially if you're going out. For... I take them home every day. You do take them home, especially if you're going them. out. I'm, and like... I'm, I'm, I'm a workout queen now. You, you do. You, you put them at the gym. And even if you're working out um, your drinking shoes over the weekend, this is a great way to cure, uh, I don't know if we're allowed to say hangover, but cure yourself from feeling shitty the next day. That's it right. hydrates you, hydrates you, hydrates you. They even got the PMT guys to bear it all in their new commercials. So make sure you go check that out. I saw that. Very, I, was, I was all eyes uh, seeing yeah. that. So Body Armor Zero Sugar is available at stores nationwide. Head over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and get yours today. Um, we got some advice questions from everyone if you want to go over them or questions uh, for us oh, okay. questions <laughs> questions for us from listeners we can go over those for uh, us by us you know for, that's what fubu stand for yeah for us by us was there there was always one white kid who wore fubu i wore fubu you did yeah I cross had, colors I had a cousin that wore fubu too cross really? colors and fubu cross colors i don't even know what that is that's a brand your friends can afford it Cross, cross clothes you can't afford. Um, thoughts on the Dune 2 popcorn bucket? Jerry would not fuck it. it. We already discussed that. I would. I like it. No, I, uh, my thoughts are I like the idea that they're getting into marketing, um, like things like that. That's like it's promotional marketing, but it's also functional and it's something uh, that, it's also pocket uh, to get people out. To, no, it's all to get people out because it is Dune 2 is available in online. So you can watch it. Can't you watch it on TV? I'm sure Dune, you can watch Dune it. one you can. I don't know. Dune two I think is just theaters for right now, but it's coming out soon. It, well, it comes out there, so I think it's a way yeah, for yeah. theater goers to to yeah. get theater goers to actually come to the theater um, and get excited about. It. So I think it's a great idea as a marketing standpoint. And I don't know what it stands for. Is it so you don't get sand in your bucket of popcorn? Like, yeah, I don't get it. I didn't even see Dune one to be honest. No one saw those movies. Timothy Chalamet annoys me. The only reason I'd watch it is because Hunter Schaefer's in it, and she's one of my favorite actresses. Hunter Schaefer. Mm -hmm. I couldn't pick her out of the lineup. I'm She's so, I'm euphoria. Blind to celebrities. She's from oh, euphoria. I fucking love her. Yeah. Um, how to deal with a horrible sister-in-law. She's greedy and annoying and wants everything to be about her. You have to realize that you'll never replace his sister. Yes. And you have a, you, you're, 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 the more, the more you fight it, the more you're going to get angry about it. You'll never be his sister. You'll never mean what him is your sister. And he might be able to love his sister more than he loves you. Never be his wife. You mean, cause this is the sister. So her sister-in-law she's talking about. This white, this girl's complaining oh, about this. Oh, so this girl will never sister. be the sister. Got it. Got it. The, got you'll it. never be his sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? It's there's a, it's two different kinds of love. And you know, you. I think you. I think you're the problem. I think you are the one of um, getting in. You know, you're 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 putting too much thought into it and constantly whatever you're getting angry about. I'm sure she's not. I'm sure she's not a nightmare. Is she a nightmare? Greedy and annoying. I mean, wants everything about her. Everyone that's just, that's is. An, everyone how, is annoying. That's just everyone how she is. Annoying. That's just how she is. I mean, you just have to. You know. You, you, you do what any good wife would do. Your, your role is to support your husband and be there for him and not cause more problems. Just, you know, if, 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 if it annoys you, talk to your girlfriends about it. Go out for drinks and fucking vent about it and talk to him. Don't bring it home with him. Don't, there's nothing he can do about his sister's behavior. And the more you bitching about it, it's just putting him in an awkward place. And that's nothing's going to be resolved for that. So literally just vet, go with your girlfriends, have a Pinot Grigio and call her a cunt all you want out there. When you're home, <laughs> you're respectful to your husband, respectful to his family, and you... You do it with class and just, you know, smile and nod and just know that you're better than her and get on with it. So the, the, the last thing you want to do is fucking let your husband know anything about it. And that just makes you look that makes you look desperate, makes you look um, immature, immature and makes you look fucking thirsty and insecure. So that's my thoughts. Well fucking said. Thank you. Very well said. I would say my dad gave me very good advice one time because some of my friends. Lick her up front cool. poker in the rear. <laughs> Lick her up front poker in the rear. <laughs> if there's grass on the field play. <laughs> he gave a. Uh, he gave me very good advice because some of my friends' wives um, are the worst, and it was getting annoying. And I think he said to me, "It was sorry, it edible before the show." How did you get black ones? Huh? I th why do I have brown and you have black? All right, hold on, let me get this. So the advice he said to me is that your friends are always going to choose their wives over you. So if you can make friends with your significant other's spouses, that'll only strengthen your relationship with the person that you're trying to get with. Because when push comes to shove, no matter how close of friends you are, and you'll deal with this as you grow up, a lot of our listeners in their 30s know this with wives, whatever, husbands, you may not get along with them, but when push comes to shove, they're going to pick their spouse over you. It doesn't matter if you've been friends for 10 years or 10 days or 
10 decades. The spouse always wins. So the sooner you can make peace with that, like in this case with the sister-in-law, husband, whatever, the better that is. Just swallow your pride um, and then swallow a load. And not take me. It from family, there. My family comes before my lover. Your family comes. Well, you're not married yet. But yeah. And also you have a great normal family. Like no one – normal. So it's like no one is fucking like crazy like this. You're Italian. Everything you say is out in the open. Right. It's like the same thing. The Italians and the Jews, It's they're very emotionally – uh, transparent. Okay, next question. Uh, what should I name my baby girl? Fallon. Pratika. I think you should name it her Fallon. I think Fallon is such a, Fallon? S- a, a beautiful name for a girl. Such a cool name. For, for an Irish. Just anything. Fallon, yeah. I think, is a good name. I also think... Um, Heidi? No. Barbara? No, who, what's the other girl? Trish. What about Trish? You name your kid Trish? Not Patricia, just Trish? Um, Miss Peaches? You name it Miss Peaches? You could name it uh, Lux Noir London. <laughs> she was just in the pit stop this week. <laughs> I'm well aware. I'm well aware. I'm well Lisa? aware. She's in the pit stop. I was going to get me started with elimination. I'm, I don't want to get sex. Let's up. talk about no, it. I won't be able to, no, I won't, no, because I'll, cause then he'll call me and make us remove it. And I'm not dealing with any of that drama. All right, all right, all right. Literally, fuck off. You could name her Baby Doll, Baby Doll, Baby Doll Fox would be you a good could, name. No, but I like Fallon. I like, what's the other name? I like... I like you know like boyish names like like androgynous names that like sound like country club names like you like old money names you like a Connor. Mm, that's for a girl. Bradley. Oh, These are girls names, right baby girls. Names. Most popular names this year: Olivia, Charlotte, Evelyn, Sophia, Mila, Harper, Scarlett. I think you like Scarlett. Amelia. Ah. Emma. Luna. What no. are you a fucking it's a dog. clairvoyant? Camilla. Ugh. Eleanor. Gianna, I like Gianna. Abigail, Ava, Isabella, I like that. Mia, Chloe, is These Elizabeth, are all the oldest Lily. names. Are. These are all from like two, 1994. What well, goes around comes around, I guess. Yeah, Olivia, Emma, Charlotte are the most popular. Sophia, that's a fucking Italian name. Uh, I miss my ex. Do I tell him? Yes. Richest, most famous person you've ever met? Me? Both of us. I think the richest person I ever met, you, don't, you wouldn't even know. It's not like a celebrity. It's just a guy. But- most famous person I mean some pretty f- honestly I bet A-Rod is probably up there for like famous people mm. David Ortiz you who's know. that for <laughs> you that's the period you met no nah, I think David yeah, like, a- A-Rod over David Ortiz a- oh for sure A-Rod is probably up there who else is like famous who's come through here Michael Irvin was famous as fuck Jeffree Mine, Star <laughs> mine's probably I don't know, Jennifer Lopez, Madonna, Lady Gaga. Uh, yeah, those are fucking big ones. Um, <laughs> those are... Jennifer Aniston. Those are huge. Yeah, I met everyone. Lady Gaga, Madonna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are massive. Well, I'm, a, I'm an old <laughs> from New York City. Of course I met all well, these people. Well, who's, uh, who's the richest person? That's the other part of the question. The richest person... It's always... Oh, it's a it's a bill, it's a nondescript billionaire. A non, yeah, my yep. billionaire friend, yeah. Yep. Um, Want to buy a house in New York, but everything is super expensive. Should we give up and move to Florida? Uh, no, wait, hold on. We want to buy a house in New York, but everything's super expensive. Should we just give up and move to Florida? No, you should move to upstate New York. You should move to Hudson Valley. That is where I my dream house is. So if I, my dream ha- thing is to have. Francis just bought a house up there. Yeah, that's it's the most beautiful place in, in, in all of the East Coast for me. I say it's not giving up. I say get your ass out and move to Florida. Save on that tax money. Florida is not giving up. Why, but that's such an Florida extreme is, thing. Florida. What, why Florida? Oh, the warm weather, the fucking no laissez faire lifestyle, the. The people, the the culture, Florida man culture, I love it. I would move to Florida in a heartbeat if they. No, your life's gonna be thing. horrible if you move down there. I'm too old to move anywhere. Like I'm. Well, I don't stuck know. I don't know. Everyone think about this person's about you know whatever it is, but I want to buy a house. But everything's super expensive. So she's saying it's, so this person's saying it's a money thing. It's a money thing. It's not, it's not that she hates New York. She wants to, so a different York, lifestyle. Yeah, but she didn't yeah, say yeah, nothing yeah. about living lifestyle. She she said she wants to live in New York, but it's expensive. You either should we just move to Florida? I think you just gotta. Eventually you become – I'm numb to New York City now. I'm going to say never, 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 never give up. Never give up. That was a quote from um, Walter Cronkite. No, I forget the name. Who it was. I have a sticker on my fridge about Jim it. Jim Delvano. Don't give no, up. No, no, don't no. ever give up. No, no, no. It's from a, like a, a famous poet. What is it? Never, ne- never, never, <sighs> never, never give up. It was by um, Winston Churchill. It's a, it it's a song by Todrick Hall. It was Winston Churchill. 
Never, never, right? never in nothing great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force, never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. What a fucking quote. That's what I live by. Never, ever, I never, I never give up. Oh my God. It might take me years, but I'm going to be a woman one day. <laughs> <laughs> It's taken me. It's taken me four decades. It might take me five. <laughs> Although slow, <laughs> since so it's steady wins the race. So it's steady wins the. I will have. A, I will have a Volvo by next summer. <laughs> um, what's the next question? Uh, if you died tomorrow and were cremated, where would you want your ashes spread? Fucking. It is a, of no interest to me what happens to my ashes after. I don't. Fucking um, let care. me think. That's I don't want to be cremated. Though. I want to be put in the ground. I want to have a. Like my parents want to be cremated. I was like, absolutely not. You have to have a place where you go. Where I would live. want. I would you want to schlep around ashes your whole life. I want a little here, a little there. You I, know what I mean, I want. I want the, the sisterhood of the traveling ashes, Mama. You'd be there. Be a, maybe a sprinkle in the corner of the eagle. There might yeah. be a little, a little sprinkle on Eighth and Twenty Third in the blue room bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, I, I would want. I would Claiming want them, saddles might get a little. Tight. I'd want them in places that like brought me the most joy. Like I want, I want some at Poppy's house, there Poppy's house. I would want some, um, right near my mother, at, uh, you know, and the, yes. the cemetery where my mother is. I'd want some. Um, oh, I like the idea of planting a I tree. I would want some in, that, um, in like one of my favorite like, uh, ta- like uh, vacation towns or yeah. something. You know, things like that. Things that really mean to me, where I was my happiest. People are doing planting trees now. Have you heard of that? Yeah. Where they like. Do whatever. Out and About is sponsored by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If if, Sorry. if time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know exactly what's important to you and to make it a priority. Therapy can help you guys find what matters to you. It helped me. It helped Joey. So if you do this, you're going to find that, and it's going to be a great thing, and you've used it forever. I lose it forever. I know it's it's more affordable than online therapy, and you can do it right online. You don't have to go see anyone. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched to a licensed therapist, and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. Again, out and about today, 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about for 10% off the already very affordable BetterHelp. Check it out. We use it. B-E-T-T-E-R, H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about. What's in and out for 2024 weddings? This is weddings are out for 2024. Weddings are out, but we're both officiating a wedding. Should we not show? I have to show now because I got the Baccarat crystal. Um, I think what's in for weddings is doing it. And a budget that you can afford and, and not – don't overspend. Don't – no one gives a fuck about your wedding. No one's going to remember that day. No one's – you're going to waste all your money. Mortgage over marriage. Think about spending $500,000 on a wedding. If you had $500,000 you can spend on, on a house, tra- on house, your children, it's stupid to have a party. It's, it's, it's – I think, I think weddings are out for 2024. Have a, a ceremony and have a big party. Have like a fucking – it could be an elegant party, but it doesn't have to be a fucking – a, a, a fucking whole fucking to do. I think I think the scale down is cool is, is a cool fucking thing to do. Less about less less narcissistic. I think I think weddings are so narcissistic and so like you know like you don't want to have a grand. I want to have a so, grand wedding. So desperate and so like attention so starved. I hate weddings like that. I think what's in for weddings is scaled down. Um, cooler, scaled down. What's what's your favorite? Co- what, what, what the fa- is this my camera? Or is that my camera? That's your camera. Um, the what, what makes what what the, what makes you you and your husband or you and your uh, fiance or, or uh, partner, spouse, partner spouse whatever cool like your favorite shit to do incorporate that and like build the wedding around your relationship and bring that bring everyone to you're celebrating your relationship and your union and your marriage let everyone come into your world and and like have your favorite thing so whether it's like fucking your favorite barbecue place get get catering from your favorite barbecue place have your favorite drinks listen to your favorite kind of music get your favorite kind of DJ do like but focus on things that like are, are go to like. If this is our fucking favorite place we go, we go to this place all the time. It's on Route 17. 
rent that place out and rent out like where, where, the place you met. Like, you know, do something cooler than just some some typical fucking banquet hall. We're like, oh, could you like the chicken or the fish? Like, and then have this fucking big to do. Yeah, do unique, unique. Get, is get more creative and do something cooler this year. Like, you know, like we met at this, we met skiing, rent that ski lodge out. Tear your shoulders on the slopes. But you know what I mean? Like, and have an arm with sweating. Or, you know, whatever. Just we yeah. met this place. Do that there. This is our favorite thing. Or, or your favorite, like, music. Have a themed thing. Almost like, almost like, get creative with it. Scale it down. Nothing has to be fucking billions of dollars. And just something that, do something like, more. that'd be the most memorable thing ever. And people are going to talk about that. Your favorite, your, your favorite fucking dish. Your mother-in-law makes your favorite dish. Make them have your mother-in-law. In the kitchen, slaving away. Slaving away. No, seriously. <laughs> or creating that dish or whatever. If a food, that food that brought you together. Or maybe your bubble made a team. maybe your bubble made a halupki that brought you guys together. She goes a, in and does a that. sports team. Just like I think that's what's cool now. Um, Having it all about traditional you. banquet hall weddings are tacky, thirsty, desperate, and out. Do people do banquet banquet halls anymore? But, but if, everyone, you wanna do, if you want to do if you want to do a banquet, banquet hall, hall, do a banquet hall. Do what you want. I'm just saying what's in. That's uh, no, what's that's in. what's in. It's doing what you want. Is it? I think not following as long as it's not that not following tradition <laughs> is in. Um, tablescape Easter. Are we doing a tablescape for Easter? Yeah. Yes, I will be doing an Easter tablescape. But I think tampered I, down, simple. No, it's going to be religious. A religious theme? Yes, I'm having Christ. Are you doing it at your house in New York this year? No, you're doing it at Poppy's. I don't know where I'm doing it, but um, it's going to be a, a I'm going to do a, a a crucifix on the table made of cured meats. <laughs> Stop. Believe it Stop. or not, are you actually doing religious? I don't know. I, I haven't thought of the theme yet. But um, if I do, do I know my I know my my, my primary color. The but, the theme is he hath risen. No, it's just it's a specific shade of blue. That's the shade of blue. Give me that blue. Give me that hat. Throw me that hat. That's periwinkle, darling. It's kind of like that, but a lot less purple. This is I have a velvet ribbon I got from Jamali. Actually, I didn't get it from Jamali. I got it from my ribbon. I store. went back to Jamali without you. I need to go there with you. No, it's, a, it's this is the color. I tried to do this for Christmas. This color and it didn't work because my sister didn't make the nap. I told her to make nap rings while I was at the store with the rabbit with the ribbon and she she put snowflakes. It was a whole mess. This is my color. Um, florals are going to be unexpected. Yes, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm doing a tablescape. I haven't. I don't know what it's going to consist of. Um, that was one of the hardest I've laughed, Vinny, in fucking ages. When we were sitting at his those flowers though. When we were oh it, it was incredible. When we were at his father's house and Easter started he had to give a grace joey turned to me with this little look in his eye and he goes like this the grace he gave was a minute and a half i was sitting there shaking talking about pronouns talking about why would you do that because you were people. there and you were oh, recording me oh my god was no, that I do, my, 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 my family was pissed that i did that because i was they making were? fun of it well yeah because i was because i was trying to make um think for the video i was trying to make it funny it was, hilarious. It was i should have done two um, well, the, well, maybe that's maybe that's the move. Two graces are in this year, although Jesus only rose once. Um, okay, who would survive solitary confinement? Nana or Trish? Me. Yeah, that's him. I would go. I nuts. love being alone. He would just put himself down, and he'd be he'd be over it. About he could. Yeah, like, the, 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 he hibernates like a like a brown bear. Yeah, yeah. Um, come to Chicago. Come to Cleveland. Come to Buffalo. Now these are demands, not questions. Buffalo, I have to come to. I want to go to Buffalo. No, I, I'm getting. I think I, I don't know. I think I signed up for something I forgot about. A wing cooking class? No, something in Buffalo. But yeah, I'm going to Buffalo this this football season. Hell yeah! Something. We should go to a game up there. Oh um, yeah, it's Josh, my friend Josh. Josh, Josh Allen, Allen works there. Okay, this is one I think we should actually consider. Y'all coming to Long Island anytime soon? Prefer me for a live show? I feel like we got people in Long Island. I feel like we I'm doing do a live it. show with Nicole in, in, uh, at the Paramount. Oh, at the Paramount? Yeah. When is that? Um, Plug I don't it up. Yet, but Nicole just opened a. A uh, store in, show out in Huntington, Long Island. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't been to the Snooki Shop in Huntington, go to the Snooki Shop Hell and tell yeah. Joey sent you, you'll get 10% off. Um, but yeah, we that's where we, how we found out how Huntington because the Paramount Theater is one of the most it's iconic. It's awesome. It's so good there. So I'll be coming to Long Island. I don't know I don't know the date though. But yeah, Long Island. Um, I, that, the Hamptons is on Long Island. That's right. Um, are, we gonna do, are we going to do a Hamptons trip this summer? I have, I'm doing a house. I'm going back with the, the people. You're doing the influencer house? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna come crash. And not I. I met. Um, I was at Sephora the other day shopping. You know who you are, Haley. <laughs> I was shopping at Sephora, and a girl comes up to me, and she knows she's. You know, she's like, "Oh my god!" I said to tell you, you know, she's a, she's a big fan of mine, and she told me she's um, she's worked at the uh, 
she's worked at the surf lodge for, for forever. And she's like, she goes, I saw you there this summer, but I, and you were with Bay. I didn't want to bother you. Um, but I want, you know, it's whatever. And I, I was like, you know, I love the chicken fingers. And she, you know how everyone says the chicken fingers at Surf Lodge are the best? She goes, what? She goes, they're disgusting. They're frozen. She goes, when we're, she goes, one time we were out of them. We went down to the local, like, hula hands and just asked to borrow some of theirs. It was like, it's like they're like the most cheap fucking shit ever, but they're most delicious. Oh, they're fantastic. Well, you just got yourself blacklisted from the Surf Lodge. <laughs> Did I? Imagine. No, it was great. Um, all right, everyone. Did New- Pat confront the neighbor? Oh, can, I, yes, I did confront the neighbor. Yeah, that was another question. You guys got the story. If you're tuning in late, just tune in at the beginning. We talk all about it. Um, our next episode will be out on Tuesday of next week. T Tuesdays. T Tuesdays, not Wednesday. T Tuesday. We're out. Have a great weekend. Wait, what are you doing this weekend? I don't know. I have no plans. What are you doing? I'm hosting an Oscar party. Cool. You don't watch the Oscars. I watch the Oscars. What are you going to bring to my house if I invite you? I'm going I'm to I'm gonna sharp a, a hard budget. So I now I start acting. Tell me get, what to bring. Can you just donate money to the cause and then I'll make I'll I give make you cash. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I would need, that's what I need. I need cash to make the food. I don't want you bringing food. T- so. Tell me what to bring. Cookies? Give me $300. $300 to come to your house party? Well, I'm going to make food with it. I don't know about that. $200? <laughs> maybe, we knock, maybe we knock it down? Maybe Diego's a, maybe, coming. Maybe a C note. What's that? Twenty dollars, a hundred bucks. That's a C note. Yeah. Oh. Diego's gone. I'm like, I don't even know who's coming. What about Vinny? No, he's not. We Vinny, you get you I'm get not, left out. We so all much. know I'm getting left out. We all know. Why don't you invite? Can you invite Vinny over right now? So he can. Do you want to come over tonight and, and after my after after my gym sesh, and I'll I'll, I'll make us protein. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. Five time. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. <laughs>